The Resurgence Collaborative is the first community-based network of providers in Texas co-located with a probation field office serving formerly incarcerated probationers and their families. When we are coming up with our implementation plan, we took a look at what factors um, were prominent in this area and there was a lot of recidivism. So in order to address that, we, we, we hit the streets and we asked, you know, what's the problem? Why, why so high? What's going on? They told us it's simply too far. Like probation is downtown. People here don't tend to really have transportation on their own. Uh, historically, most of the offenders or clients come to one, one probation building in San Antonio. And this approach allow us to actually go out into the community. It's the same thing with the referral services. They weren't going to see their referrals because they didn't have the ability to get there. So to address this, we thought, wouldn't it be great if we could just bring that here? The probationers have been saying, I really like that I can walk, it's only two blocks away, I don't have to catch different buses, I don't have to transfer buses, it's easier for me to see my officer here. They like that they can do their drug tests here, they like that there's multiple services, and they can do their community service here as well. I totally feel a lot more comfortable with coming here and knowing that they understand and that I'm not just a member that they're trying to push out of the door. I come up the street and I'm in, I'm seeing, I'm out, less than 20 minutes. Oh, this is way, this is a cakewalk now. It's much easier now, it's real close to the house. It's less, way less stressful. And um, you get to talk to your probation officer a little bit more. This is a wonderful idea. This is more convenient. It's more intimate. It makes me feel more comfortable and I feel more comfortable in this, this type of surrounding than in going you know, all the way to town with all the different people and everything else. You know, it, 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 it helps me feel better connected with my PO. They like it a lot, the fact that it's walking distance from a location versus getting on a bus and spending more money that they don't necessarily have. Yeah, I don't necessarily feel like I'm on probation. I feel like, okay, this is what you have to do to get over this thing that you're going through and we're gonna do it. Ultimately, it's gonna help diminish the rate of recidivism because it's gonna help them succeed versus fail. They're gonna have the assistance here, not just from their probation officer, but from any entity that can help them fulfill their needs. But I think something like this in different neighborhoods, especially neighborhoods that need it and don't necessarily have the avenues to get up in the car and go drive or necessarily have gas to put in their car every week or to go to these programs and things of that nature. I think that's really, really good to have in the community. At least a few of these one-stop shops would definitely reduce the whole recidivism rate and somebody can actually succeed. Because that's at the end of the day, that's what we want them to do. We don't want them to revoke. We want them to succeed and go back in society and actually be motivated. We are a nonprofit that's really geared toward uh, doing as much as we can in the community for the betterment of the people. And this was one way that we could reach out to them and offer services where that would be a one-stop location to where the people could come in and benefit a little bit more because they didn't have to travel all over the city to find the needs uh, to deal with the problems that exist with what they do. A lot of times our population that we serve uh, and who need the help the most don't necessarily read newspapers or watch news programs and things like that so it's really an opportunity for us to get out there and shake hands with people, introduce ourselves, tell people what we're doing. The fact that we're located in the community for people who are on probation, uh, not even necessarily for people who are on probation, anybody who needs any type of services in this building could definitely get those type of services. There was a $600,000 grant that was granted to the Housing Authority in addition to the uh, CHOICE program that we also received the CHOICE designation. The $600,000 was specifically geared to combat crime and come up with strategies in which to address hotspots 
and um, criminal activity. At the corner of Norland and New Brothel Street here in San Antonio, the, the lot was an uh, area where drugs were being done, where uh, prostitution occurred, and, and a lot of crimes happened in that area. And it's really just uh, the first steps in the community taking back uh, this piece of property and then moving on to other pieces of property afterwards once we show that the model can work and we can be uh, productive in the community again. Uh, here in this area, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's known as a pretty bad area. Uh, right over here, uh, the garden, it's beautiful, man, I'm loving it. Uh, before, before it just looked at like, like trash. These alleys were, you know, completely open, overgrown, there was trash, dead animals, um, encampments of just folks who, without a home, just living back here. Um, and there were just tons of crimes happening in this very spot where now we're building a community garden and you see a mural and there's improved lighting at night and improved security cameras to capture any of the crimes that do happen. And we firmly believe that by restoring families that the community will be reborn and re-transformed into a much better community, thereby reducing crime and preventing crime overall. They uh, have a number of events in the community, barbecues and cookouts, uh, really reclaiming areas of the community that have been forgotten or neglected for a number of years. It was like last year, 2015, in before June, when the murder happened on New Brunswick Street. And after that, the resurgence people like from the department of Saha, they come by here and uh, they just try to talk me to be clean this, this area. Then they put the cameras all over the buildings. I think people feel very optimistic for the first time that things are uh, really changing. We first started out on this side of town, we had about a 45% unemployment rate, right? Um, as of May 2015, it's down at 39%. If we, like comparison between the last year and this year, I personally feel it. And it has made a difference because now they can have a play, a money to pay their phone bill, pay the rent, have a vehicle, and even get medical insurance. So that has made a big difference to them. Since we have started seeing people here at the Barbara Jordan Center um, in, I believe, March, initially there was about foot traffic in here was about 200 people a month, and since then our numbers are over 500 and something people come through these doors a month. Uh, I've seen people picking up trash as they're walking down the street now. These are things that I didn't see before, so I'm, I'm happy to, to see these kind of changes in the attitudes of the people, not just in the physical areas. And what, what you guys are doing out here, man, I'm loving it, it's beautiful and keep up the good work, man. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you guys, help this place become a better place. You know, we are gonna have gardens. We wanna have yoga, we wanna have classes, we wanna be able to have, you know, food. We want it to be a place where people feel comfortable to come. And so this is a long-standing establishment. Uh, for me, this is about the long term. Um, a sense of, uh, of hope, pride, and opportunity are all in the streets everywhere you go. And, uh, and it's a result of efforts like this one, and we need them to continue to be supported. It's totally all about working together. So the fact that the city can work with us with this and everybody is happy, it's even better. Let's just keep this garden going, man, and let's just try to make this place a better place. We're not going anywhere. We're here to stay, and this community is going to be better when we're done. We as people must realize that every person is a human being, and we as the individuals who have been able to make it, and especially minorities, we have a responsibility to take the things that have been given to us and try to make sure that others get the same thing that we've got. There's a lot of momentum about this community, and it comes from the business community, it comes from the social service community, it comes from uh, the nonprofit community, it comes from the justice system. Uh, we're resurging our efforts, and we're resurging lives as a result. So I think those things are. Um, extremely uh, important to spread the word and amplify. Currently, the Resurgence Collaborative has 20 partners. Partners with offices at the Barbara Jordan Community Center include Bear County Community Supervision and Corrections Department, San Antonio Fighting Back, the Rape Crisis Center, Family Violence Prevention Services, Extraordinary Counseling, St. Mary's University Counseling Department and Family Life Center, Goodwill San Antonio, Antioch Missionary Baptist Church, and then we have partners with services that are offered at the same community center, Alcoholics Anonymous, San Antonio ISD, Restore Education, Claude Black Financial Empowerment Center, Antioch Community Transformation Network, Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Program, 
And then we have off-site partners as well, such as Moment of Truth Ministries, the Bear County Reentry Program, Eastside Promise Neighborhood, the City of San Antonio District 2 Office of East Point, University Health Systems, and We Speak on Purpose.